I hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to this new Blender video, I guess, in which I'm going to talk about this animation I did a few days ago. This is not going to be straight up a tutorial because it was a really long process and you're gonna have a really cool time lapse of the things I'm doing in the back of the screen. And the final result is this you're going to watch right now on the screen. So the first thing I did was obviously uh, recording myself <laughs> and that you're watching right now on the screen is my face. I had to record the background but since I was recording from my cell phone I had to make sure that to never leave the, the space which the camera was recording because in case I did the camera will focus on the background and that would change the level of light we got in the scene. So once I had my video, one vi a video that I liked, I imported it to After Effects in which I made a, basically a mask of myself in this background and used this mask to, mask to disappear myself and then used two different videos of the right and left of my background to, to generate like an empty background that was really never in the scene but what, but what I did was to freeze uh, two frames one of the one with the empty left and another one with an empty right and once all of that was done i just made the disappearing effect with the mask on the layer that had me then i head up into blender and modeled like roughly like not exactly but modeled my hand i took as a reference the video i had i imported it to blender as an image explains and then just from the camera view I just like modeled the form roughly so that it because this mesh will never be seen in the final animation or render or particle simulation but it will only generate the particles that are going to be visible in the final product so it did it doesn't matter if the product is not like if the modeling you're making is not the same as your hand it's not visually the same because what you're going to end up seeing is the particles so once i did that i began to make like this is exactly the same process as i did in the last tutorial about particles the one about the thanos disappearing effect because that's basically what i'm doing right now i just added a little bit of after effects to add it into a video and the model is something i did so now i made um I used a cube to model a mask that matches the mask that I had in After Effects and then just made my cube, uh, the one that is my hand, spawn some particles. Uh, in this, the only difference that is kind of significant from the tutorial I did a few days ago is that in this render I used two different emitters and one was, one was emitting 500,000 particles and the other one was 50,000 particles I think and then I just added in the back um, a green plane that I used as a gray green screen for it to be easier to mask the particles because masking particle by particle in After Effects would have taken would have taken a year so I only set up green background to use as a, a green screen and applied a chroma key into this uh, background so now what I'm doing is basically playing with these uh, force fields that I used a wing, a wind force field and a turbulence as I did in my past tutorial and play with the values and with the number of particles that uh, as I say at the end were two emitters and then put it a little material into these particles by the same method of adding a of adding the material into the particle that is being instanced. Next I went back to After Effects and then just imported the sequence that I made in, in Blender and then used the key light effect to make a, to convert this green background that I had that was the plane into a green screen and just have the background in my scene. And then I had the idea of making like a little different color in my skin. So I duplicated the, the layer that had myself and then and I used a different effect to manipulate the saturation and the brightness of my scene. And then just and then fix a little bit the mask because if this color I wanted only to be applied in my skin. So I had to move a little bit the mask that I was having, being careful to not change the pace that was disappearing in that moment. And then made this a composition and used the second mask 
to for me to be able to appear and disappear this like second color that I was making in my skin and by playing with the borders of my mask I could make like a fade effect that made that the saturation was hotter in the tip of my fingers and then moved around to the bottom of my of my arm. It was basically a lot of masking and stuff. The 3D effect was already there, so I only had to make it match with what I had made in Blender. And then I just went to textures.com and, un and downloaded a crack-like um, texture and put it above my hand in the same composition, uh, pre-composition that was in which was the saturation effect, so that when it's affected by the saturation, it's also affected by... Well, it also applies this kind of texture. And then I went back to Blender and made a different simulation that was happening on my body. Well, that was going to be my body. I did the same as I did with my hand. This doesn't have to be really, like, the same as you as how your body or whatever you want to do looks because as you could see when you bring it into After Effects you don't want everything to appear in the screen you just want the, um, the particles to be in there and then the subject was a little bit more complex because as I separated the, um, the mask from my body from the mask from my head and the movement was really like kind of random I had to make a really, I don't know self-made um, object that was going to be the, my mask and then render all the frames but actually I, c I made a little mistake that I'm going to fix a little bit later that I noticed that was better when I came back into Blender but I just bring this uh, simulation into After Effects really fast with the same key light effect to like have a preview of how it's looking in my scene and then I went straight back to Blender to model my head and to make this uh, the same process that I did with my body that is uh, like modeling the head like Not caring too much about the details just the basic form and put a little bit of animation in order to follow my head and then make a mask Well a, a cube that will be the mask That will make my emitter appear in the scene. I put the same values into this Into this simulation. I put around 400,000 I think for the head and then turn off gravity, turn off the initial velocity, put in the same size, the same rotation, and then play with the values of the life of the particles. Because I did want it that some particles last more than others, like some effects are better if they last longer. And it, when I made this, I noticed that it was a mistake to put the animation into vertex, like, I'm sorry, the simulation into vertex, because since I had a lot of more faces in my scene, I had a lot of uh, face generated by the boolean modifier but not that much vert vertices so in order to spawn a lot of particles in like in the volume of my body I had to turn this into faces and that's what I did and head back to my body simulation so that I could change this parameter so that it looked a little bit better and once I did that I only had to go back into after effects and make the same process I did with my hand, put the little masks and then put the, put the clay effect in the animation and basically set up all the scenes so that it looks as just one thing, like just one thing and this was the final result. It was really fun to make by myself and I just wanted to share like the process in case it gives you some ideas on how to make, uh, how to apply some of the things I teach in this channel because they are like really simple scenes but the same knowledge as that I'm giving in these small videos can help you make really cool effects that are, can be used even as a special effects as you can see. I hope you really liked this video, it was a little different than, than what I used to do normally. If you liked, please like and tell me in the comments if you would like to more videos like in this format. And I hope you have an excellent day.